Cause then you would start recording. Okay then. Evolution salutations everyone. Evolution right here. And welcome to another arcade. Well, not, welcome to another episode of Arcade. It's been a while since I've done this. I already forgot my intro for this. Uh, but, um, I remember last time we played, well, last time I played and recorded, we were in car case, and we got a mission to come here. So I did side quests and other things and everything. And, well, you can see the character is level 51 now. You can also see, I don't remember if they had the, um, I don't, I'm pretty sure they didn't have the Celestial buff yet, but, um, yeah, what happened was I reached level 50, I was able to open up some chests and everything, so I've got new temporary armor. I also have some new weapons in the form of Hiram. And the reason I said this stuff is temporary is because when I'm able to, I'm going to replace all of these, except for the cloak, because I need a guild to replace this, but um, the armor is going to be replaced with Hiram. Because Hiram is better than it in every single way. Now this sword, you can see Hiram has three stats and everything. Hiram is great gear. I mean, it really is. This, well, I'm going to get rid of the evasion on this, but it's pretty much perfect. This replaces that range critical damage with melee critical rate. And this will be perfect. But I'm not here to talk about Arcade. I mean, I'm not here to talk about Hiram. We're here to continue on the quest. So, without further ado, let's begin. Welcome to Diamond Shores. What can I do for you? The Asura. You're a little late on that news, friend. Things have things been unleashing all manner of unholy magic upon the Riven Gates. Between it and the Oz followers, we're having a hell of a time holding up the line here. We tried everything to take out that floating monstrosity. It's damn near unkillable. The Oz followers are holed up in Riven Gates, an ancient set of ruins that guards the passage west. Every time we get near the place, they push us back, and our Asura's magic is only making them more dangerous. If what your informant says is true, there may be another way. Alright then, we'll keep the seeds on the Riven Gates, but I want you to take up the hunt for this Soul Eye Crystal. Maybe it will be that key we need to defend our Asura. Your best bet is to search the Oz followers that guard the ruins. If you do manage to find that crystal, bring it back here as soon as you can. Good luck. Oh, hey, another cloak. Wait, what's this? Oh, yeah, that's the Sprout on Siddle. Okay, that's... Well, that's a different quest. It's a side quest that you can use to, um... Help you get stuff like, um... Illustrious gear. Which you can form up to... Well... Uh, not one. You can um, get up to and that gear through a lot of, um, I want to say, carpentry proficiency or something. It's some proficiency and a lot of labor and probably a lot of gold too. Because you're going to have to regrade that stuff. So yeah, it will take a lot. And the lag. Okay, why is this place lagging? But I mean, why did it lag so much? Well, probably because of the Asura. I don't know. I mean, the Asura aren't here, but they can spawn in those giant craters, and they are not something to mess with. Mm, I'm pretty sure I can handle this guy alone. Yeah, oh my gosh, his lag is real. <laughs> Okay, wow. 
so it just gives me it. Well, this does help a bit more. I'm pretty sure this will help more than that. So, I guess what I'm supposed to do is, I think I'll head over that way or something. Because there's no quest here, I've got that. There's someone down there. Oh, wait, I know why it's lag. I think I know another reason why it's lagging. Because this is also a housing area. Whose idea was that? So well, there's a Nudian. This means it's in peace. That's what, if it wasn't in peace, they would have attacked me. But, um... Yeah, we're just gonna run down this. Now, I don't remember exactly how these quests run. But I have a bad feeling that... I won't be able to get to the next part. Well, I don't know. Because I remember there was a Crimson Watch quest. Or some quest that, where we had to kill... Um, the freaking large tree boss and Miss Meryl a few times. I heard they ch might have changed that. I don't remember. But, um... I think they might change it to a different boss now. I don't know. Honestly, I don't know. I want to say they might have changed it to kill the Hound of Curios by the times. If they have changed it to that... Like, I don't know. Like, I've had someone tell me they did and they made preparations in case I actually don't end up having 500 hero soul stones before I do that. And I'll be honest, I've tried to go to um, the EU's CR, but I've always been too tired to actually go on this character. I've went to one. I've gone to one on this character. But every other time I tried to stay up long enough to actually go to it, I've just been too tired and I've just logged off and fell asleep before I could. So, yeah. Oh, before I forget, I'm actually recording this on July 31st. Well, not July. Yeah, December 31st. And this video will probably be up the day after. So, Happy New Year's, everyone. I hope we, like, 2018 has been kind of crazy. And who knows what 2019 is going to be like, but hopefully it will be a good year. And hopefully all of y'all will have a great 2019 when it's over and hopefully y'all's um, 2018 wasn't that bad or bad at all. Like, I really hope it wasn't bad. Okay, I don't know where I'm supposed to go. Hmm. What am I supposed to do? Wait, this is all I. What? Where do I go? Um. Okay. And you can probably ignore this. This is just a um. Just a quest on the library. Where am I supposed to go? The quest was a. a there, I don't remember seeing it on the horizon or whatever. So, the solar is gone. What the heck? Because the quest is not in here. Let's head over to the um. Let's check on the um, housing areas over here. Like the east housing area. I don't know where the soul. I don't know what is going on. I really don't. It's been so long since I've been here. I think last time when I played this, like I'm pretty sure they changed some quests and everything. But it's like when I did this part of the quest on um, Spark Paul, I'm pretty sure I remember. They immediately handed me another qu- Hold on. Actually, hold on. There's an easier way to- Why didn't I think about this? Okay. Go to Diamond Shores and find Scout Calls. Wasn't he back at the Riven Gates?
true. If he was the guy back at the Ruby Gates, I'm gonna be mad. Yep, East House and area lag area. Oh my gosh. Okay, yeah, he was back at the car. Um, oh my. Uh. Well, I gotta go back. But I can take a faster route this time. Actually, why haven't I been using this mount speed? But seriously, that's messed up. Oh, was he down there? Yeah, I'm sorry. I I do not remember any of these characters' names. I don't remember where they at or anything. Seriously, though. If he was a guy back at the Ribbon Gates, why is it that he didn't have a quest or anything? Like, go to Diamond Shores and find Scout Horrible. Actually, hold on. He might be down here. That's 500 remnant stones. He might be down here. I'm gonna check. If he's not down here, then yeah, he's back over by the ribbon gate. In which case, again, why didn't he have a quest? Unless it's something like I have to take that, um, I have to take the, um, the Remnant Soulstone quest before I actually activate it and give me the quest for a story. I am uh, supposed to go up higher than that, but whatever. Don't need a hero call. Okay, Nui Shield Gale. Drill Master, Drill Master. Okay, so yeah, he is over by the Rimming Gate. Or he could be that guy who um helps you start the um Well, he used to help you start the abyss of course. Oh my gosh. Arrow key. I hate when it does that. I really do. I don't know what it is with my arrow key, but it does this sometimes where I'll click it, I'll drag it around to change the um camera angle, and then it'll stay hidden and force me to look in one direction while I'm walking and I'm trying to go one way but thanks to the arrow key being held in well thanks to the camera angle being held in one position I can't turn okay now hopefully these mobs won't kill my mouth I am really 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 hoping they don't kill it I mean I seem to avoid them when I ran through here just a few minutes ago but yeah when they act, like my mount's only level 25 so yeah they would destroy my mount because these guys are all level they're all level 50 or 51 so they would completely destroy my mount. I mean, yes, I do have a level 50 mount in this, but this thing, actually, thanks to its two skills, can run at a faster rate. Although, this thing does have a higher base speed, but that's because of its armor, and because of this thing's armor. If I got its um, guild armor, it would have the same base speed as this add on to the fact what it's too run and yeah it's definitely faster okay hmm. I must have a message on discord I need to start muting discord when I be doing these recordings because I always forget and I always end up getting a message during them Okay. If he's not here, then I'm not going to know what to say. Because he's here in Diamond Shores. Somewhere.
Yeah. Okay, yeah, so it is him. So I'm gonna have to activate this quest. Alright. Yeah, take this. Why is that a thing? Okay. Here we go. Join in the Crimson Watch. You found the Soul Eye. Excellent. We can use some of that light, uh, fighting spirit around here. If you're looking to make a difference on Aurora, Crimson Watch will welcome you with open arms. They'll probably ask you to complete some basic training, but with the skill you've shown today, I'm confident you're up to the challenge. Just head down to a and Ruins and find that yeah, and find Drill Master Racing. He'll start with your train. Well, he'll start your training. And make sure you're equipped with the best that the Crimson Watch has to offer. Well, it has to offer. I look forward to fighting by your side, Recruit. Okay then. So now we know where to go. And before I do that, I'm getting rid of this. Sorry, but no. I'm just not doing that. Now. The reason why I'm not doing that is because that quest is a bit, um, it could be a bit painful if you're a, like, you see I'm only, um, 3k, uh, 3k gear score, and I'm level 51. Now, people with low gear score and not enough damage, they have a rough time. Now, I can see my melee damage, I do about 600 to 825 damage, okay thing is these mobs all have over a thousand health and everything and all over 50 and they can hit hard the higher your gear score the better but some people in Hiram gear like divine Hiram gear if they're not careful these mobs can kill them and right now Hiram can go to three tiers each tier is stronger than the last one I don't know about tier 3 Hiram armor because I haven't really seen anyone out here killing with it but I know someone with tier 2 divine Hiram and the mobs out here can kill her if she's not careful so yeah doing that quest can be extremely painful if you aren't strong enough I mean she can do the quest easily but the mobs can still kill her if she's not careful already been 18 minutes and well like five maybe five to ten of those minutes were sent freaking looking for the guy because the game decided it's gonna put the normal little side quest before the storyline quest uh, storyline quest should really have a priority they really should Okay. Hmm. Ah, so you're a Suzuki. I heard you took down the monster in the ribbon gates. That's quite a feat. Are you lo looking to join the Crimson Watch then? The Crimson Watch is an independent peacekeeping force dedicated to protecting the settlers of Aurora. We take all kinds of heroes, outcasts, even pirates. As long as you're willing to stand by our side against Anthelon and his undead army. If Carlsberg sent you here to join us, it means you've got real talent. But in Aurora, sometimes that's not enough. We're under con constant threat here, day and night. Even the ruins we guard are full of strange creatures and magical constructs that rip lesser warriors to pieces. If you're going to join us, we need to know what you uh, uh, need to know you got what it takes. Okay. There's a group of wine kill on the hill across the ravine. They're no undead horde, but they're dangerous, and they'll make the fine test of your abilities. If you can kill them and return unharmed, we'll welcome you into the Crimson Watch with open arms. If not, you may need to head home and get some more training in before you're ready, to, uh, ready for the perils of Aurora. Oh, they actually put it beforehand on this one. That's pretty cool. Now, you saw that um, lady, she had a quest too. I forgot if it was her or if it was him, but one of them, 
again, I know I said I wasn't going to talk about Hiram, but one of them has a Hiram quest, which can be good because you are going to need either infusions or some high um, grade Hiram to upgrade more. See, I'm a lot of Hiram's only on tier one. I don't know if I'm ever going to get tier two on this account. I really don't. But yeah, my Hiram's only on tier one. Like tier one arcane. This isn't that strong. I mean, it's decent, but it's not that strong. But it should be enough to help me with these guys. Now, I'm going to pull out my pet for this. And I don't mean the Storm Darter. I do not mean the mount because, again, it will get ripped to shreds. But my Savior Fang, I'm pretty sure it's level 51 also. So it will help me a lot. What kind of Sergeant? Uh, also, I hate when a game does that. I'm on a hill, and just because it's an upward going hill, I'm facing upward. It's like you need a larger space to summon this. All right, let's do this. Ah! Come in. I gotta kill eight of these guys. Okay, maybe I'll kill eight and then I'll win. I don't know. I'll okay, go in the episode. And then what I'll probably do is I'll immediately record the second episode using my friend's account. Because. Let's face I'm not on this account much. And I'm pretty sure you're gonna collect one Hound of Curio Soul Stone per day. And I've only got one, so it would take me four days to do that. Although, actually, I could. I could do that. It's gonna take four days. Well, of course, I don't have reaction videos to post since, um... The last video I posted, if I remember right, was the season finale of the death battle. Plus, from that episode, I remember right, I told you guys that... The next episode of Undertale I Post is going to be a skip ahead because in the stream, the recording decided to stop after 17 minutes for who knows what reason. I still need to investigate that and I lost all the data I had for it. Which really, really sucks. Because I got through multiple puzzles. Not to mention two encounters with Metaton. And that whole stream. Only to have it all be... Uh, I'm still upset about that. I don't know. Like, I don't remember how many puzzles. The two encounters with a psychotic robot that I end up managing to live only to have the recording be like I'm gonna cut out after 17 minutes I don't even know if I actually got the meet Metaton the first time In fact, if I still have that like I don't remember if I deleted that 17 minute recording or not but you know something just in case just in case I do still have it I'm gonna post it anyway I'm gonna post it, like I'm gonna post it cause at least y'all will have some um, uh, footage of what, um, a little bit of what happened on during the stream before the thing decides to cut out on me for no reason. Oh my gosh, why? Okay, he didn't do as much damage to me as a- Oh wait, he was level 52, what? Okay, so this little mobs are level 52, don't it? 
It's even worse with my mouth. Yeah, I'm probably gonna turn this quest in, see what the next one is. Depending on what, actually, depending on what the next one is. If it is what I think it is, then yeah, I'm gonna end the episode. If it's not what I think it is, like, really, if it's um the quest they said uh, that requires the five period of silk stones, then I'm going to end the episode. If it's not, then I might continue. I don't know. I know some of you might be wondering, Sparky, why didn't you use this? I'll use this in a little bit. And this, you again, is what you need 500 of this to craft, and craft one illustrious armor piece or a weapon. I have no need for it, so I'm just going to sell it. Okay. I'm gonna pick this because this sells. Okay. I saw your battle from here. That's the kind of fighting spirit we need in the Crimson Watch. Welcome aboard, Atazuki. Starting now, you're on the front lines of the battle for Roya itself. Ah. See? He has Iron Quest. Wait, what's her quest? Hmm. Oh, they recruit. This is your first time seeing Diamond Swords. It's a lot to take in, isn't it? When they at when the Antiquity Society first arrived here, they expected to find a blasted landscape devoid of life. Imagine the surprise when they encountered not only Antalon's undead, but an army of the living as well. Those followers are a group of cultists who worship Curios and revere the necromancer Antalon as his prophet. It's unclear if they're descendants of those who were loyal to Curios during the fall of Roryan. Or if they came here at our own from the southern continent. Either way, they have sworn allegiance to our enemies. One of the most important things a new recruit can do is to face off against forces of Curios. It gives you an idea of what you'll be fighting in the missions ahead. And proves to us that you aren't one of Antalon's spies. Not that I think you're a spy, of course. It's just, we can never be too careful. Antalon thrives on treachery and deceit. It wouldn't be the first time he's tried to destroy us from the inside. Anyway, why don't you get up to the western cliffs and take out some of those off followers? It'll be good practice for you, and it'll put others at ease. Good luck, recruit. Okay, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to head up there, and then we're going to end the episode there. And I know I said I might continue, but, um... Yeah, we're approaching the 30 minute mark, so, sorry, but, you know, this series I do not intend to have going for 30 minutes, uh, well, for an hour long or whatever. Now, Undertale, because it's a pretty long game and I will be dying a lot, that's the reason why I go for the, um, hour long stuff. Because it actually gives me more time to learn the mechanics of the character and possibly beat them. But this game, honestly, most of the time in story mode, you're not going to die. The only time you probably will die is when you're facing off against, like, big bosses and stuff. Which, you actually don't do that often, and the only somewhat bosses you do fight normally are pretty easy. They're not even really, they're not even many bosses. They're just enemies with uh, higher health. So, yeah, this series, I'm going to try to keep it 20 minutes max. I mean, unless I ever decide to stream some stuff, in which case, I don't know what I would stream. What I'd probably stream is like, um, what I'd probably stream is just us doing an event or something. Or maybe PvP, I don't know. Honestly, I don't know what I would stream if I streamed Dark Age. Possibly make a new character to stream. Oh my, then I mean to open that. Actually, yeah, that could work. Maybe create a new character to stream a storyline from them. What would be a character I would do? Let's see, I know the Fearing storyline. I know the Warborn storyline. I know the Elf storyline. I know the, um, 
dwarf storylines. Of course, that doesn't mean I can't replay them to find other stories. Actually, the dwarf one is pretty interesting. And I did not see... Like, the the way the dwarf, dwarf story goes, I did not see that ending. I did not see that coming. That was a total shock for me. Like, that, oh my god. Makes you feel kind of bad for a character during that story. Like, oh my god. Actually, it made you feel bad for three characters during that story. Oh. And I was thinking it... Like, when I was reading that storyline, I was thinking it was one... When I was going through that storyline, I'll be honest. I was thinking one thing was going on. Nope, I was completely wrong. Yeah. But, yeah, I'm just going to end the episode here. Um, if you guys have enjoyed this episode, remember to hit that like button, subscribe for more content, remember to go support XL Games, and you can, if you guys want to join, you can play on the game. This character, of course, is on a Jakar server, with, well, the Jakar EU server, there's not a Jakar NA server, and until next time, this is Sparky, signing off.